Welcome to the Biblical Gardens at Moshav Yad Shmona here in the hills, quite near the border between the tribe of Judah and Benjamin. And I would like to take you to a visit to a Gethsemane. So let's look at this word Gethsemane. It means gut in Hebrew is a crusher. And if you just say gut, it would mean crushing grapes with your feet. But if you say Gethsemane, a gut of shmanim, of oil, it refers to the crushing of olives to get out the precious olive oil for food and light and healing of wounds and this tremendous valuable product. And so we're going to look at a Gethsemane uh, crusher for olives. And there are two stages, the crusher and the presser. Now here's the crusher. You can see this huge stone wheel. And either a person or a big one like this would probably have a donkey that rotates the wheel round and round, and it simply crushes the olives, pits and all. And you get this oily pulp on a stone table that has a rim so that it won't roll off or run off. And then after they've been crushed, you have to go to the mechanism that presses this oily mush to get the oil out. And so now we're leaving the crusher and we're going over here to the presser. And as you walk along, you'll see this large wooden beam. In fact, it's called a bud in Hebrew. So if you hear the expression bet bud, the house of the log, <laughs> the place of the beam, it's referring to this that is used as a pressure mechanism to get the oil out of the olives. So let's take a closer look at it because that oily pulp that is made by the crusher is put into collapsible baskets. They have a round hole and then you fill the pulp inside, but it's a collapsible basket. And so here's a whole pile of them under this log. But just the pressure of the bud of the log itself isn't enough. So just look at what kind of a mechanism they have of being able to turn some wheels that will raise one stone. And that creates a lot of pressure. And then you raise a second heavy stone and a third heavy stone until you get the last oil that comes out is not so clear and pure. It's the first oil that comes out just from the pressure of the baskets themselves that's the virgin olive oil. So here now you understand what is Gethsemane. Jesus went out after the Passover meal to, play, to pray at a place called Gethsemane, the crusher of olives. And now think of the symbolism, which to me is so evident, of what happened to him in Gethsemane. He was crushed under the weight of what he knew lay ahead of him and pressed. And we even read that it was like his sweat was like blood. He was under such terrible pressure. pressure. And what came out was the purest dedication. Not my will, but your will be done. And I have a friend who says, I look up at the full moon and cry because we know that Passover Eve is to the light of the full moon because it's the 15th of the month of Nisan and the Jewish months are defined by the full moon being on the 15th of the month and Passover is always at the time of the full moon. He said, I look up at the moon and cry when I think of what Jesus went through for me at Gethsemane. And when we realize how Satan worshipers use moon as the time that they celebrate as though it were they being on the way to victory with Jesus being then taken off and crucified and killed. But it's Jesus' path to victory. In that struggle in Gethsemane, he gained that composure to take him right through the death on the cross. And we read about him for the joy that was set before him he endured the cross. And so 
it's a resurrection theme that is at the end of this story of terrible, intensive suffering. And I enjoy this poster that I've seen of a whole long table with a panel of all the different leaders of different world religions. And the caption says, will the leader of the true world religion please rise from the dead? Amen. <laughs>